up beautiful people welcome back to my channel in today's video i will be showing you my blow drying process of what i do on a weekly basis you may or may not know this but if you don't know this i do blow dry my hair on a regular basis meaning i will blow dry every single time i wash my hair which is on a weekly basis so not only is this a video of me showing you how i blow dry my hair it's also to test out hot commodity by tph by taraji which is the heat protectant that i was so reluctant to buy last time i did a tph review which was of the shampoo and the conditioner if you haven't checked that out go check that out i will link it up there and in the description box so you can easily go straight over to that video and then come back and resume right here so before you continue watching this video, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, positivity please, positivity all up and through here. Um, share this video and check out the rest of my other content. So let's get right into it. I am going to be reviewing this baby right here. This can be found on tph.com, by taraji.com. I will have the direct website down below you can also pick this up at any local target so make sure to go find out exactly if your target near you has this available by simply going to target.com and then searching hot commodity tph by taraji and then see if it's readily available for you to pick up or is available in store so you can just go ahead and get it you know what i mean so this retails for $14.99. As you remember in my last video uh, doing this review of TPH by Saraji, I was really reluctant about buying this because it was $14.99. But I'm so happy that I did because when I use this, I've used this twice already. So I'm kind of familiar how it feels on my hair and I'm kind of okay with giving y'all pros and cons of this product because I've used it twice. So, this was a good find. Y'all, this right here is the truth. So, first, I'm going to just show you exactly what I do with my hair when I blow dry it. So, when I blow dry my hair, I like to prep my hair thoroughly before even putting heat on my hair. So, what I do is keep my hair divided into four sections. And I go from the back of my hair to the front of my hair. Right now, you're just seeing me work with the front of my hair because I didn't want to spend that much time on this. It literally takes me around 30 minutes to an hour to blow dry my hair depending on how damp or how wet my hair is, super wet my hair is. In this instance, what I usually do is wrap my hair with a cotton t-shirt and let the water be absorbed by that t-shirt and it actually helps with the air drying process for me because my hair takes super long to air dry. So I let it dry a little bit, maybe a good hour to two hours with the t-shirt on my hair, and then I proceed to blow dry my hair. So like I said, I work in sections. So with this section, what I like to do is spritz my hair with aloe vera juice, and then I go in with a leave-in conditioner and for my leave-in conditioner choice, I use Melanin Hair Care. If you haven't checked out that video of me testing out the Melanin Hair Care, all the different ways that they said that you, you can use it. Well, not all. Majority of the ways that they say that you can use it, go check that video out. It'll be in the cards as well as down below. But I use this as a leave-in. And then I started the process of spritzing the heat protectant on my hair and I massage it through each section that I'm working with. Cause I do subsections of my sections. Like I said, sections a little bit too much. But anyway, I do subsections of each section, of course, to make sure that I thoroughly penetrate my hair shafts with each and every product that I put on my hair. So this heat protectant is vegan. It is cruelty free, SLS slash SLES free, that P word free, paraben free, mineral oil free, and is infused with all of these good things. If you need more information about the other ingredients that is included into this, go ahead and click on tphbataraji.com down below and it will 
direct you to where you need to go to find the rest of the ingredients because she has every last ingredient listed on her website so just click down below and you can find it if you want to use this use it if you don't and you don't feel comfortable with the ingredients don't use it so yeah after thoroughly protecting my hair with everything i use the tension method to blow dry my hair so that is what you're seeing now so with this particular product, I would say definitely the smell is a pro for me, but for others, it could be a con because like I said with the other products, it has the exact same fragrance in here. So if you are sensitive to anything with fragrance in your hair, do not pick this up because it is a really nice scent, but it could be overwhelming for other people. So the scent was a pro and a con in my opinion. I will say my hair has been super easy to manage using this. I'm not even joking. So your hair is very manageable when you use the heat protectant. I don't know what's in here to make it super manageable, but it's very manageable on your hair. So it's easy to detangle when you are blow drying. So that was a pro. Another pro for me was how soft my hair was after using this. My hair has never been this soft after using any type of heat protectant and i love that it is super soft like it's super soft so hands down one of my favorites if not my favorite heat protectant because how soft and manageable my hair was after blow drying so a con or pro if it's not gonna break your pockets you know the price is also a pro and a con so it could be pricey for those who don't want to spend $14.99 like I didn't want to spend it but I'm glad I did uh it could be a pro because there are some heat protectants that are a little bit more pricier than this but it doesn't work as well as this so in my opinion it's a pro another con <laughs> another con will be the nozzle do y'all see this like you can see the residue on here right now it is very hard to hold this with slippery hands when your hands are wet after when you're maneuvering around with your hair like using your hands to feel your hair to make sure the product is thoroughly through it gets very slippery i do wish that this nozzle was similar to the um tressa may heat protectant where you just literally spray it like a spray bottle other than that I think that's all the pros and cons that I have. My hair was protected and is protected with this heat protector. So this is a pro. It does what it says it's gonna do. It protects your hair. Um, and it, like it says, it's a hard working heat protectant. It shields, soften, and prevents. And it's for all hair types, which is a pro. All hair types. So that's a pro. So yeah, I really, really love this heat protecting y'all. I did not think that I will like it as much as I do but it's awesome and I don't know this is headed towards number one in my heat protectant like pal so I'm just saying pick it up if you want or don't but it's up to you those were a few pros and <laughs> few cons that I have with these products if you have any more list them down below so others can you know debate whether they want it or not um yeah that's all folks like i have absolutely nothing else to say in this video or do in this video you've seen me blow dry my hair this is how i blow dry my hair all the time and you've seen me review this product this hot commodity by tph by taraji was awesome and yeah it's awesome so anyway, as always, always be you because that's only one you. You are awesome. You are amazing. You are one of a kind. And I will see y'all next time. This is y'all.